Hi guys, Brian from Brian Boas here. People are often obsessed with the growth rates of their baby boas. And I always see these questions where people are asking if their boa is growing too slow or too fast and if they should be concerned. Well, today I want to show you, just as a comparison, some holdback true red tail boas that were born here back last September. So this is two litters. One was a Pacalpa Peru, one was a Suriname, and they were born within a few days of each other back in September, mid-September of 2020. So they're now just over six months old. And I'll be, I have some holdbacks from each litter and they're all doing really well, but they're showing a pretty remarkable difference in their growth rates and size. So this is the female Suriname and I actually just weighed her. She weighed in at 87 grams and she's just over two feet in length. So she really hasn't put up, put on that much growth since I, since she was born. Um, she's eaten 15 times and it should be noted that my Surinams were smaller when they were born than the Peruvians. And in general, the Surinams are smaller and this was a first time litter for this female and she's a relatively small female. She's about five and a half feet or so. So the babies were smaller at birth. But you know, I found it in general, Surinams are just smaller than the Peruvians at birth. So you can see 87 grams. Now I want to show you the uh, Procalpa Peru female so you can compare. Here we have a female Procalpa Peru holdback. And this female was actually born four days after the Suriname I just showed you. But you can see she's quite a bit bigger. I just weighed her and she weighed in at a whopping 235 grams, so about two and a half times the weight of the Suriname. She's also about two and a half feet long, and you can just see she's quite a bit thicker. Hopefully she won't draw blood today, she still hasn't uh, quite calmed down yet. But the Peruvians, even though they're on the same feeding regimen, they have shown quite a bit of difference in their growth rate. And so these guys were quite a bit bigger than when they were born, they were just under uh, two feet long at birth, around you know 22 inches or so, and because they're bigger, they can eat larger prey items. And although they have been fed on an every other week feeding schedule, the fact that they can eat a larger prey item means they're getting more food. You know, as far as the mass of the food every other week. So sh these Peruvians are now eating full-size adult mice, whereas the Surinams are still eating hoppers. They're not up to the full-grown mouse size mice yet. And so, you know, that's part of it, just because they're eating larger prey items, they're able to grow faster. But Peruvians, they just grow faster. They have the genetic potential to grow faster. And it's not just the Suriname versus the Peruvian, it's also that different lines of boa grow at different rates. You know, my Suriname line tends to grow at a relatively slow rate compared to some of the other Suriname lines. It's just part of the genetics of that particular line. And so, you know, as I've said before, as, as long as your boa is putting on slow, steady growth, you shouldn't be concerned if it's growing a little on the slow side. So my Peruvian is behaving today and she hasn't struck at me. So I thought I would try to show you a comparison of both animals in the one shot. So you can see the Peruvian, you can see how much thicker around she is than the Suriname. Just, you know, much, much more grown up looking animal. I would, would imagine that this Suriname, it'll probably will be close to another year before it reaches the size of this Peruvian. And you know, again, they just grow at different rates. It's nothing wrong with the Suriname. It's just part of its biology. For whatever reason, this is a line that grows a little slower. Peruvians are widely accepted as probably the largest type of boa, getting rarely up to around 13 feet or so in length. Um, you know, so it's not surprising that they start off bigger and they grow a little faster. And it's pretty remarkable now that I look at these side by side, look at the difference in the head size. I mean, the head of this Peruvian looks like it's about twice the size of this Suriname. It's just, you know, pretty remarkable. Um, and again, nothing to be concerned about. This is just they grow at different rates. Thought I'd show you one more comparison. Here we have males, the Pacalpa Peru and the Suriname. And this, in this case, there's even more of a difference. So this male weighs 75. This male weighs 230 grams. So this male weighs about three times the size of the Suriname male, even though they're the same age and they've been fed on the same feeding schedule. You know, and looking at next to this 
Bacalba Peruvian. The Suriname looks like a skinny little worm. He looks almost tiny. Uh, and this looks like a muscular boa. But you know, within a year or two, this guy is going to uh, increase in size. So I'm not really that concerned because I know that boas from this line just tend to grow a little slowly. And I have adults that are now nice and muscular at four to six years of age. It's just a part of their biology. Oh, yeah, I knew that was going to happen. So I'll put him back in a sec. But I just wanted to wrap up this video. If you have a boa that you think is growing too slow, resist the urge to power feed or overfeed it. Remember, slower, slow and steady wins the race. You want to feed about every two weeks, especially for these baby true red tails. No more than every two weeks. Or else you run the risk that they're going to regurgitate and have health issues due to that. So I hope this was helpful. As always, feel free to shoot me any questions you may have. Thanks for watching and enjoy your boas.